welcome to GTV. Today I will be showing you the multi-speed function on an Eaton Cutler Hammers MX AC drive with a PLC. In my application scenario, I will be filling 50 gallon barrels where I will need my motor to pump in the liquid at a slow rate to prevent splash out, then fast to fill it up, and then slow again to top it off. My digital inputs will be controlled by a PLC that will trigger the start and stop of the motor as well as the speed control of the drive. For this demonstration, I will simulate the PLC functionality by manually switching my inputs on and off. Upon startup, I will be in monitoring mode. To access the parameters, I will push the back reset button to enter the menu where I can scroll down to par. I will push OK to enter the parameter menu. The first parameter, P1.1, is the quick start configuration. For now, I am going to keep this at 1 to make initial setup a little easier. I will scroll to P1.2 to switch my application to a pump drive. I will press OK and change this value to a 1 for pump drive. Changing this will change other defaults as well, so it is important to make this change first. Next, I will go to P6.1, which is the primary remote control source. I will keep this at 1 for controls to be operated on a terminal or through the I.O. I will then go to P6.2 for a primary speed reference. This is currently set for my analog set point 1. Since this will be controlled by the PLC, I will change this value to a 0 for fixed frequency. Going to P6.3 for my minimum frequency, I can see that the value is already set to 20 Hz. This is because of the change to my application from P1.2. For this demonstration, my frequency will be a controlled preset and may not need to use this value. Now I will check my motor nameplate data. P7.1 is my motor rated current. I will change this by pushing OK and change the value to 1.8, then I will hit OK to save. Then I will go to P7.3 for the motor speed and I will change this to 1700 RPM. P7.4 is my motor power factor. I will keep this at 0.85. Next is P7.5 for motor voltage, which I will also keep at the current value of 230 volts. P7.6 is the motor rated frequency, which I will also keep at 60 Hz. Remember that this data is found on the nameplate of your motor and may differ from the values that I have plugged in. Now I will need to unlock the rest of the parameters. I will scroll back to P1.1 and change this value to a zero. This will allow me to make more advanced changes. I will scroll to P10.1. I can use the left and right arrows to go for faster scrolling to get to my parameter. For P10.1, I will change this to 20 Hertz. I will then go to P10.2 and change this value to 60 Hz. The fixed frequency of P10.2 is controlled on my digital input 3. I will now push the back button a couple of times to get to the main menu. Then I will scroll to monitor mode. I will flip the DI1 switch to simulate the PLC giving a run command. The motor will ramp up to 20 Hz. Now I will flip the DI3 switch and the motor will ramp up to 60 Hz. After a couple of seconds, I will flip the DI3 switch off and the motor will ramp down to 20 Hz. This will ensure that my 50 gallon barrel does not oversplash and maintains an efficient operation with the multi-speed capabilities of the drive. Eaton Color Hammers and Max AC Drive along with thousands of other products and services are available at gelco.com.